here are the four sum formulas that you should know. The first one tells me that if I sum from one to some number n, and I'm summing one, that's gonna equal n. The reason this happens is, say we're summing from i equals one to seven of one. Well, this means we take one plus one plus one plus one plus one, and we do that seven times. So this will equal seven, which means that as long as we're summing the number one, we just will add one repeatedly n times, which is why this entire summation will end up equaling n. So if I go back above to that example 4a, or 1a, I see that I have a summation of 1. So this is going to equal negative 2 times, I look at my n up here, and I get 4. All right, let's go back down. If I look at the summation from 1 to n of i, this is going to be equal to the formula n times n plus 1 all over 2. I'm going to go ahead and prove to you why this formula works. I do not expect you to be able to come up with this proof on your own. All right, this is what we see. I'm going to let s equal the summation that we're looking for. Okay. I know that the summation will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on until I hit the number n. Another way that I could write this summation would be to start with n and then add n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 and so on until I get to 1. Now if I want to what I can do is add these two series together. I'm going to add these together. So I get s plus s, which is 2s, equals, I get 1 plus n is n plus 1. n minus 1 plus 2 is, again, n plus 1. n minus 2 plus 3 is n plus 1. So I get this pattern that I keep ending up with n plus 1. And we're going to get this n times, because there's n number of terms. Thus, I get 2s equals n times n plus 1. So s equals n times n plus 1 all over 2. And that is exactly what the formula was telling me up here. Now let's apply this. If I go back to that example 1a, I notice that I have 3 times the summation 1 to 4 of i. So we're going to use our formula that the summation from 1 to n of i is n times n plus 1 all over 2. So using this formula, I get 3 outside times 4 times 5 all over 2. What this ends up giving me is I get 10 over 2 is 5 times 3 is 15. Sorry, quick mental math error. 4 times 5 is 20, divided by 2 is 10, so I get 30 minus 8, which is 22. And that's what we came up with the first time around. Okay, there are two more sum formulas I want you to know. Here they are. 3 and 4 are telling you a formula for when you get i squared and when you get i cubed. For both of these, I can show you the proof if you're really interested, but you just need to have the formula down. So for i squared, we're going to do n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. And for i cubed, we get n squared times n plus 1 squared all over 4. You definitely want to have these four sum formulas on a note card and ready for you to use for any quiz or test. Let's look at some examples now.